Hey you guys, it's Craft back with another tour review video on our animated series Spider-Man 2 pack of the Green Goblin and Mary Jane Watson. So, both of the box and tails, the side, both cares, a little punk in there, pop bomb. You got, you know, I got the little Spider-Man logos, kind of remind you of the 90s. The back, same thing, on top. Side, you know, look like VHS. So you got them like the, you know, like back in the 90s and they had the little VHS tapes. And on the bottom, and you got this, and you got your little leaves here, and more right there too. And that's it. So you got these in the box here. So let's get them out the box and see what makes them tick. Now we got both characters out of the packaging. Now I love the scope on both of these figures. They look pretty good, and they all colorful and vibrant like the TV show was back in the day. But since I don't got forearms, we're gonna have to do one at a time. We're gonna do Green Goblin first. So you can see him right here. You can, you can like now. You watch the the cartoon, you know, Spider-Man anime series. You see this face. I'm pretty sure you can just see that laugh. You can just visualize that laugh he does. Yeah. So you you can really see it. So Hasbro did really well in designing this with a new 3D you know, technology or the printing technology or whatever. So let's get to it. The little articulation here. So you can spin it all around. And go down that far and go up that far so you can see it now. So, the arms can go out, so he still knows, so you gotta work with him. So, just be careful. Don't wanna overdo and break him so he can go all around like that. You got five so swivel there. You got the double joint elbows. You can see right there. He can turn the wrist, he can swivel the wrist. So, you got all of that. He can bend, he can go up like that. Now you know this is the bucket cap body, so you know what you're getting into if you've seen like all those videos before. Got that swivel, double jointed knees. You got like calf swivel, I believe. Yep, calf swivel right here. Ankle pivot. Oh no, ankle. There you go. Ankle pivot. And I think we have swivel. We have swivel. No, we have swivel. We just got pivot. You can bend. Okay, do the splits. Uh, there you go, it splits pretty good. It does the John Claws very well. So, that is him. He looks cool. So, let's get into Mary Jane. Alright, yeah, here's Mary Jane. So, we are lucky to have her grace us today. Because we are just hit the jackpot, apparently. So, let's spin this all around. You can see right there. And do the T-pose. Can bend. Do not double jointing. You need to do women double jointing. Come on, guys. Come on. Share the love with the women. All right. And you can bend all the way up there. Bend down. Now, hair get, always gets in the way, but you can still spin. You know, it looks weird. Well, I always spin like that, but you can still spin it. She can go down that far, at least, but you know, she ain't, can't really go up though. You gotta rely on the torso here. Because she can't bend. Because then, you know, the hair gets in the way. So, you know, it is what it is. She can kick not too far, but she shouldn't be kicking too far. She's not really too. You know, acrobatic, you know, she's just there for Spider Man to save. You got that swivel. Double jointed knees, though, that's, that's good. You see, it's pinless, so that's always awesome to have some pinless. And you got a little ankle bend there, ankle pivot. And she do the split, she should be able to. Ah, she does the split pretty well. With swivel. Yep, and you can also bend the wrist, so. You got that too, so. There is Mary Jane in all her glory. And you notice like she got like shading actually. I know they didn't do like a lot of shading with the newer ones, but she got a little bit. She got like these little buttons right here that's like colored so it can look like actual like buttons. So you see she's wearing like a button sweater or something like that, a little top there. So there is Mary Jane in all her glory. So now let's get into the accessories. Now with accessories, we don't have a lot. We have this head, you know. You will say, oh, that's Norman Osborn. But no, I think it's Harry, cause he got like the little black, little like sleepless eye thing going on like Harry did. Norman Osborn didn't have that, you know. Norman Osborn was just Norman Osborn, just a crazy person putting on a mask. But Harry looked it like off, but he was really depressed about Mary Jane being gone. So, and also, you know, the death of his father. So he was just, he was just really like insane. 
So I think there's more Harry Osborne, the Norman. So we might have to find a body for this head to represent, you know, Harry. So that's why I think it's like a Harry, you know, Green Goblin. So we got that boy. This little pumpkin bomb here. Pretty sure it's like the other pumpkin bombs you have, all right? Probably across the have you been collecting Green Goblins and Hot Goblins, Demo Goblin. You know, it's, it's all the same. You got that there. Now the glider was cool. It's actually colored like from the animated series. Now I hope one day they do like a, a writer series. They make like another Green Goblin probably, you know, or, or something. It comes with a big giant glider that could, this could connect with. That would be all, awesome. and they can just connect it in there, and it'd be cool. And they like have like little play feature that can shoot missiles. That would be awesome if they ever do that. Hasbro, you gotta do that. And here's Satchel Hill, you know, you keep his pumpkin bombs and the little bladed like bat things and stuff. And you know, it looks cool, it's kind of like the animated series, so that's good. Now the thing that I'm like saddened that it didn't come with is like, you know, his finger lasers. You know, he has finger lasers, so I don't know why it didn't come with the finger lasers. That should have been another important accessory. He should also have that little device. That they used in the anime series that you know that Mary Jane got teleported in there. It should have came with the little device. With the little black orb, you know, coming in, not the orb, but you know, a little portal, and she falls and it should have had like a little thing like that, so you can like you know and react that. And that's it for Green Goblin though, that's all he came with. Mary Jane just came with these little two hands. It's fist hands, so you can like put me down, brute, and you got this old like, open hand like you know, like like you can grab something out. Like, you know, just you know, just hands. You know, just hands. That's all. That's it. That's it. And since that's it, let's go into the size comparison. Now here we got our two green goblins and a hot goblin. Now I'll say like this scaled version will be like all series is like Norman Osborn, and you know you can have Harry there, and then you got this guy. You know, so. You can do, you can like, you know, do whatever you want with your uh, display. But that's part of I'm gonna have my display. And you can see them standing together. It looks cool. I think Hawk Goblin need a redo. It comes with that that giant glider. And they can give like Sunfire body or something. You know, something more flexible. They can show like he's actually throwing and stuff. More dynamic. So that's what I think they should do. Like a rider says with the giant, you know, glider that shoot the missiles. So that's how they look together. So if you was curious about swapping heads, this is how they look. So you can see how the coloring look. The coloring is off, but I feel like you can pull it off and make this like a different green ground, like you're wearing armor and the mask is clearly a mask, so it would be off color from the armor. So you can pretty much pull that off and set it just an armored up version of Norman Osborn. Which I'm, I might do that, I might actually do that, it looks cool. Now you can see him. It's a little completely off, so that won't work, but this might work. I actually wouldn't like that idea. Now you can see a size compare across the Hasbro line. You got a G.I. Joe Classic Flat Destro, and you got a Lightning Collection Falcon Ranger, as you know, is Ryu. So you can see how they scale with each other across the lines. If you want some Street Fighter characters to come in and beat the crap out of Green Goblin, I got you covered. So you got a Shuttle Ken from the Shuttle line, and you got a Jada Toys Ryu, the one I just reviewed. So check that review out when you can. So that's how they scale. All right, now we got a NECA Toy Leonardo, and you got a Todd McFarlane Superboy. So you can see how they scale with each other. So now we got Mary Jane standing next to the Parker family. As you can see, you got Kane right there. You got Peter and Major trying to walk out because she's still feeling a little awkward from catching Peter doing things. And Ben just kind of creeping in the background like he's about to play some type of prank. Y'all is playing some type of prank. But that's, that's how that she's standing with her, you know, friends. I suppose. <laughs> that's how she's dancing with them. Now here's Mary Jane standing next to Peter's other love interest. You got Gwen Stacy to the right, left is Felicia Hardy as Black Cat. There's the comment of the day. Which girl you think Peter should have been with? I think Felicia Hardy, cause they both got powers, and she'd probably be able to relate with them more and do some air work together. You know, I think that would be a great team. But, but what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Uh, Fox said Gwen Stacy. She's a Gwen Stacy fan. So there you go. 
All right, so we got three different versions of Mary Jane Watson. On the right, you know, you got the Renew Your Vow version of Mary Jane, and on the left, you got your average comic book Mary Jane. The reason I have these guys here, we about to do some fun head swapping. So let's show you some heads. As you can see, I think both of the heads work, you know. The comic book Mary Jane was done Renew Your Vows head, cause you know, it's a little bit brighter. Uh, the, the skin color's a little bit darker than her hands, but you can pull it off though. But that looks good. That look, you know, cause you're wearing a costume, so you know, who cares, right? But that looks good, yeah, look at that. That looks really good. So let's do another head swap. Just for the heck of it, you want like Mary Jane to try to feel like she about to suit up? There you go, that's how that head look with that body. So now you can see how that looks. Now you can see we have the darker hair version which came with the uh you know Spider-Man Armor Mark IV. It came with that one. So that's what this Mary Jane head is. That's on that cartoon M8. And I could cartoon M8. Cartoon Mary Jane. So see how it look? Still have the same issue, you know, her skin is darker than her, you know, flesh color hands, so you still got that. But if you don't look at the hands, it looks good, you know, she's wearing a turtleneck, you know, who cares, right? She looks good. Now this, whoa. Skin is too dark and her face is too light, so it just mismatched, it don't look, it look like a Frankenstein, so this is a no-go, so as you can see, that doesn't go, but this is okay, that is not okay, so let's get to the grip now. Well guys, the review is over, and the Green Goblin kind of lack love, he didn't come with a lot of stuff that I was hoping he'd come with, and bro, y'all need to be like Nakador with gargoyles? And they make like the ultimate line that comes with everything that was in the TV show that he used. Y'all need to start doing that, but I know it'd be too much cost. Maybe do Deluxe. Uh, some of these characters are all about Deluxe. So you got me saying it. I think Charlotte Prime said it. So there's some characters that, that should be Deluxe. They have the ultimate burn that comes with everything. And you got to think about future releases in mind. So they will work with other or the same variant of the character. So you can, like I said, Green Goblin needed his finger lasers. He didn't come with that, so he should have came with that. And uh, Mary Jane, she's okay. You know, she's just supposed to be the, the prop or something, you know. But she's cool, though. But I feel like she should have came with more facial expression just sitting there just, and, you know, she should be smiling. You know, show personality. But, you know, they would have raised the price for this two-pack, which I think shouldn't have been a two-pack to begin with. But this is Crowd signing out. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll share the video while, so everybody can see it. And I'll catch you guys later. Be safe and be good. Bye, guys.